a fellow named Art Durkee, who was, who was a friend of mine, uh, who came to the UPG, and we ha we did the Omniverska radio shows. I don't know. Have you listened to any of my Omniverska shows? I've listened to all of them. Yeah. So Art Durkee had recommended that I read this guy named Samuel Delaney. And Samuel Delaney is a black a homosexual sci-fi writer who got a, a fairly big reputation. His, his most well-known novel is Dolgan. I read Dolgan, and it was so goddamn puerile. And this is this is one of the things that gets me about about people when they write about things that not just sexuality, but it always gets down to the lowest common denominator. You know, uh, it, it it it's it's proto cyberpunk, but it's filled with cliches. You know exactly where it's going, and it, it's basically there, there's a few gratuitous. Uh, sex scenes between uh, a couple of the male characters, I believe. And it's so boring because it's so predictable. It's as predictable as that goddamn Western novel where the cowboys are just riding around looking for horses. And and so, so if you're going to write about, if, if you're going to hold up, for example, that sexuality, especially in this day and age, is is this is this thing that has been overlooked and it's such an important part, well, treat it like it. Don't treat it like a goddamn eight or ten year old infant. I was arguing just recently with this moron on uh, uh, this w uh, website, this IMDb board, and he. What really pissed me off was is uh, one other poster he was arguing with was talking about the aesthetics of, of of the human body, male versus female. And I pointed out, for example, that that generally speaking, the female body is more aesthetically pleasing because women have more fat on their bodies, their curves are gentler. They look cuter because this this makes generally their faces their their uh, you know where as if you look at a man uh, a man uh, is going to be generally more cut yes if you have a fat slob it's not going to be but you know if you look at, I I I use the example of, of foot fetishists I've known a few foot fetishists and I've known gay foot fetishists and straight foot fetishists and all of them will admit a female foot is more aesthetically pleasing because the fat covers up the sinew it covers up the blood vessels etc cetera, etc. Cetera. And so the, the, this gay guy who was arguing with this other guy went into this whole thing where he was accusing me of being, uh, childishly accusing me of attacking him for being gay. I said, no, you're simply wrong. And it's a, this, this, it, had nothing, it had nothing to do with, with his, his, his uh, homosexuality, but his puerile sexuality and his inability to distinguish an aesthetic argument from a sexual argument because all he had to do was bring it down to sexuality. And that's what this, this Dahlgren novel does. 